What a beautiful day, even it's windy. Hello and welcome to this Bauman Tech Review. Today we take a look how we can take our smartphone underwater and make small films like the one you have seen in the beginning. For this we use the Divefolk underwater housing which even offers an underwater touch screen. The housing will be delivered in a small package. On this package there is also printed which kind of model it is, in my case C-Touch 3 Pro. And there is also a binary line which works up to 10 meters of depth. The Pro model is waterproof till 80 meters and the touchscreen keeps its function till about 40 meters. For older cell phone models, there is still available the C-Touch 2 as Pro or Pioneer model. The overpacking contains two smaller boxes. On one they are printed for which model, in my case for the iPhone 11. And the second box has the serial number on it. In the smaller box we have a protection bag and the inside are for all iPhones of the 11 lineup the adapters and they are clearly marked. Here for the Pro Max, the one for the normal 11 and the one for the 11 Pro which is mine and which we will use later. In the bigger box we have a little bag with accessories, a short instructions uh, printout and of course the housing itself. In the small plastic bag with the accessories we can find uh, a small plastic tool to take out um, the inlet I will show you later how this works. A safety lanyard, very important because the housing in the water is heavy and will go to the ground immediately. And a small cord to put the lanyard on the housing, a replacement seal, cleaning clothes and some stickers. Let's have a closer look at the housing. We have here a very nice handle. This is the sign of the Pro models because at the Pioneer models this hand grip is missing. The visible difference between C-Touch 2 and C-Touch 3 is the opening window, which is round for the C-Touch 2 and the big rectangular one for the C-Touch 3, because the newer phones have more lenses, so they need more space for the window. If we take a look from behind, we see the big membrane, which is filled with a special gel, and so I can use the touchscreen of the mobile. Inside we have a plastic inlay which I need for a first waterproof test and which I also use later for storage to prevent that the membrane is overstretched by being pushed too much inside. Here I took this protection inlay out and we keep this for later for storage. Let's take a closer look for the mobile inlay. Here you would put in your handy and after insert it in the housing and close the housing and you are good to go. After use of the housing the inlay with the phone can be stuck a little bit and here you can use the small plastic tool to take it out. A further helpful part which is included with the accessories is this small cord. With the help of this small cord, it is relatively easy to thread the much thicker cord of the wrist strap through the fixing eye on the housing. After we mastered this, we can fix the wrist strap with a counter loop. Folk also offers an underwater tripod, a clamp to be fixed on the housing 
a wide angle lens and a set of macro lenses. A very important accessory is the clamp, which has on the underside a quarter inch female thread for tripods and on the upside M6 ones plus a cold shoe. Furthermore, there's the lens holder. For your better understanding, I mounted here the wide angle lens so you can see how this lens adapter is working. The top models of today's cell phones have inbuilt ultra wide angle lenses, so you maybe don't need this separate lens anymore. It is very important and helpful to activate the so called assistive touch. For this, you go to the settings menu. Then you scroll down a little bit till you find accessibility. You go into this menu. A little bit down you find the menu touch. You go there inside and on the top you find the menu assistive touch. You go there inside too. And there's the switch for the assistive touch off, on, off, on and just push the button to go to the home screen. For the next photo or video adventure we just have to take our phone and put it in the inlay and insert all together in the housing and now more or less everything is ready to create beautiful underwater images. With a small movement or shake, I can wake up the phone from his sleeping and then I can go to the menu and change between photo, video, slow motion settings. I also can change uh, focal lengths and lenses and then I can just start my recording by pushing the record button and when I'm finished another push and the recording stops. It is a big advantage that on this relatively big screen I just can control all my recordings and I have enough space to look around that this carp for example cannot escape. If I want to control my videos, I just go to the photo app, search for the one I want to control and then I can take a look on the big screen how it was doing. I also can swipe through, go on full screen, look for another recordings. And all this I can do already in the water without waiting to get out and make it later. The best way to leave the photo app is to use the assistive touch and then go again in the camera app. For me also very important is that I can close the low battery warning which otherwise would freeze the phone functions completely. Using the assistive touch, I can close my phone anytime to save battery.